Hello everyone, welcome to the ASPTricks.net session. Today here I am going to show you how to integrate the editor config with Visual Studio 2017. So first of all we should know what is editor config. So editor config helps developer to define and maintain the consistent coding style between different editors and IDE. Most of the times we developers have problems to maintain the standards protocols of sty styling uh, like uh, naming conventions. Sometimes we have to use the Pascal, sometimes to use uppercase, sometimes to use lowercase, sometimes to use camel. So by using the editor configs we could have the standard protocol and that we could spread across the organizations in which every developers which you are using visual studio 2017 will able to override the individual rules of the editor config so this is a beneficial extension tools which is also could be used in the source controls enabled product like we can easily check it check out these editor configs files from the source controls either from TFS or from git so the file extensions that exist in solutions would be dot editor config to know more about the editor config you should visit on the official website of editor config dot org now the second thing is that what are the features we could get by using editor config so here we have mentions these bulleted features like code snippet validations passes completion passes matching command and command code formattings these are the features you can add these extensions by market palace visual studio or you just have to go to the visual studio open the tools then extensions and subdate you just have to search the editor config you will find an extension editor config language services so you just have to download it once you will download you will have some prompt like this so after installing these extensions the first questions always should coming in your mind that how to add this editor config in the solution so you just have to right click on the solution go to add and then editor config file after editing the adding the editor config files you will see some text files there and in text files you can set the rules for the particular extension like .cs if I am using .cs means for the C sharp programming language we will able to define such rules here so after adding the rules here we will see how even if var a equal to 10 is right but here two errors are there use explicit type instead of where means we have defined c sharp styles where for built in type if we are directly initializing any value to a type it should be not where so you can find some more rules over here visual dot net coding and settings you just have to go through the site you will see there are some fixed patterns like dot net style qualification for field qualification for property qualification for methods qualification for events like this now 
I think I should show you some demo so I am going to a solution and I here I am trying to add uh, I have already added the extension edit config extensions into my application into my uh, visual studio ID so I am just adding a new editor config file here so by default here sticks end of line dot xmls are given here so I am just trying to add a strict dot cs and here I want to set the same rules which was given there remember here it was error so we were getting error instead of getting error we want some warnings there so I have just added warnings you may add error some suggestions but here I am just adding warning and now I trying to add the same code like a equal to 10 So here I see no warning here. Oh, it's true warning here. Once we will click here, you will see a balloon here. Here, use explicit instead of where. So I just clicked on, and now we so. that's it for today thank you